Hey everybody, it's Texas Stroker here, Lance the Performance Shop along StatterMobiles.com. It is uh, Monday night, got home a little earlier than expected, had uh, supper left over from Sunday, <laughs> and subsequently freed myself up a little bit of time here, granted it's late, gotta uh, go work out, shower, and get to bed so I can do it all over again, but I need to do something before I go to work tomorrow, which involves a part that just came in, and I thought to myself, hey, you know, I need to kind of film that before I take off with it, and then I realized also there were two, actually a couple more items <clears throat> that I don't know that I've ever recorded, and I've just had them kind of sitting here on the workbench off to the side. Subsequently, I decided, you know what, they're the same manufacturer, they're the same color scheme, we're just going to throw them in. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, you'll note, switched over, usually in the black uh, alphas or the red vibes, uh, both were getting filthy, and I decided to break these in, ordered them. You've possibly seen that video, I don't know. <laughs> I'm way behind in terms of editing, but uh, as always, link down below. You can save 20% off on alpha gloves with your code Lone Star. And uh, past that, timestamps, they're also there. Granted, I hope to get through this one relatively quickly. So what we have, and my apologies, these are going to be a little dusty, so it might take away from their luster. But quite some time ago from Summit Racing, and I always link things down below for your convenience with current prices as of when I actually edit and upload the video, brought in this. Uh, this is just a three compartment tray from Ernst. Uh, this one doesn't give the dimensions. It is 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Price point, make any guess? $5.99. I feel like that's a pretty good buy uh, for something that is made in America. Speaking of that, here it is. I need to find my tape. Uh, we will quickly try to confirm. Boom, dead on 10 and a half. And obviously if it looks square, it is. <laughs> and 10 and a half. So, that is included for your convenience. You know, maybe maybe you've got X amount of space in your drawer and you're thinking this would come in handy. So what am I going to do with this? My vision with this was twofold. I could see like a lot of electrical stuff like heat shrink, things along those lines going in and obviously different sizes or colors. And what I'm sort of hoping happens, I didn't have my 12 inch extension at the time, but extensions never really seem to have a good place you know like in my socket drawers and so i was thinking you know what quarter three eighths half i don't know if i'm gonna like it it's just an idea and for six bucks i was like let's go for it so uh with summit i believe the threshold for free shipping is always 99 you know has been for quite some time still is as best i know so if you're sitting there and you're buying some parts or some oil change supplies and you're sitting there like 92 dollars instead of paying you know 15 20 bucks in freight throw this on and throw on this one that's $8.99 it's considerably bigger uh, and I gotta say it might be more practical for some of you but uh, this is also from Ernst this one's cool because it includes the dimensions it will be 11 by 16 and instead of three compartments it's 10 compartments for the OCD people uh, they are all different sizes at different points uh, in this case they sort of ascend you got three uniform <laughs> and uh, roughly the same size here and then slightly larger so do with it what you will this one I honestly didn't know I was thinking like electrical connectors again um, we're just probably gonna play around and see again these are pretty I happen to really really like the blue and these have been sitting there probably since the fall so they've been accruing some dust <laughs> and, uh, price point on this guy eight ninety nine, which I think is a fantastic buy. Again, keep in mind, Ernst, this stuff is made in America. For those of you sticklers for that, uh, you're looking roughly sixteen. And again, if we come in here, uh, it should be pretty much dead on eleven, which is conveniently just out of your line of sight. But eleven by sixteen, ten and a half by ten and a half for the three compartment guy. I don't know that I'll have time tonight to populate these. Maybe I'll throw them in the drawer and show you. If not, remind me, and I will attempt to do that at some point in time. Now, the thing that prompted me to finally put these in a video for you and hopefully now get to use them as I have downtime, uh, where have I set it? Here it is. Okay. This one, these prices, is very easy to remember. $8.99. Um, I bought it for two reasons. Number one, I need it, and number two, I thought the rail looked similar to one I had and I liked. And that's right, as I drop it down into sight here, uh, this is an Ernst 
twist lock 13 inch 3 8 socket organizer. Uh, when I bought it, I had no idea it was twist lock. I thought it would just be, you know, like the ball detent pegs, because that's what my other plastic ones similar to this are. <laughs> that's not the case. Uh, but again, $8.99, this sucker claims to be 13 inches. How many sockets does it hold? 15, I'm thinking? 14 tool, it says. I thought it was 15. I didn't bother to read too terribly much. So let's start with the basics, and then we can go into their jargon on the back. Coming in, yeah, dead on 13. Keep in mind, you know, if you love this and you're like, man, I have 12 inches to work with or something, you could technically cut this. It'll be a little sloppy. Uh, right here, you can hang it. You know, if you got pegboard, if you got a pin on your toolbox, whatever it may be, you can secure it to something. Uh, you can put a lanyard through it and clip it to your belt when you scale a the ladder. There's all sorts of possibilities there. But going by what they're talking here, we have, again, everything I've read to you. They claim it includes 96 uh, identification stickers. We'll have to take a closer look at those shortly. And then down there, very difficult to see, but proudly made in the USA with a lifetime guarantee. That's good because anytime you have an item like this that's plastic, the rail, kind of okay with, but like the actual holders, kind of concerning, but I trust Ernst. I've had good luck with them. So this is sort of reminiscent of the Vera, like, uh, you know, canvas socket holders. You place them, you twist them, and it's locked. Uh, we'll actually load it up and test it here in a second. Now, if we take a look at this, add-on accessories available. So let's say that you were using this rail and you need more sockets. You know, you've got 6 point and 12 point of the four sizes you use at work or on your vehicle or motorcycle or whatever and you want six point and twelve point and you needed a couple couple of extras added on you can apparently order them standalone uh, you can also apparently clip these into the socket boss tray I've not seen that in blue but I can't say I've looked either now we have the Ernst bit boss uh, sitting in my uh, screwdriver drawer in the big box uh, new issues with that one so far ratchet and extension holders that might be interesting so again this was bought for a particular reason and I'll show you here in just a second right now I'm gonna try to tear this off and hopefully not screw up the included sizes although it's doubtful I will use those so just so you're part of the process here let me pan back out for you and as I've torn this up you can see we've got this like little pamphlet looking section right here boom you got them it's black on white on black which is good visibility they don't know what you're going to be doing with these it could be fractional it could be metric it could be torx bits it could be phillips it could be all kinds of stuff you know as long as it's got a 3-8 socket <laughs> it could go in uh, so everything from like tiny tiny little bits uh, to torque stuff, hex, you've got it. Uh, and they've got it pretty well included here so that's why you see so many random seeming sizes in terms of sockets, it looks like they're going to go all the way up to 1 and 3 eighths. Uh, I'm only mainly concerning myself here with SAE because that's sort of what applies to me. Uh, you can see SAE Torx and screwdriver labels on this side. This is just SAE sizes. Again, this stuff would work for hex sockets, whatever. Um, you know, Allen keys, bits, I should say. And then over here, you've got millimeter and Torx and then millimeter labels. So basically 2 through 22. You got T7 through T coming all the way over here, 60. So it's important to keep that in sight. And I guess the fractional stuff goes to an inch and nine sixteenths. You got number zero through five. That's pretty much all you need to see there. So again, do with that what you will. If you want it on the peg, you can do that. If you want it on the side or offset, whatever makes you happy and works for you, that's what you need to make happen with those. So right here this is what it looks like again let's actually count these because i could have sworn i'd read there was 15 that said 14 but we've got one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen now again if you want 15 you could probably fit it would the sockets fit kind of depends what they are <laughs> so if you're one of those people like me that's always annoyed that metric is blue and sae is red i don't know who came up with that but it's not my cup of tea you can buy these blank and do whatever you want to with them. That's why it's fantastic. Now, why is this important? Well, right back here, 
uh, when I built the Hercules kit to dismantle motors, which I need to do, not necessarily the motor, but uh, to unpallet motors, if you will, lag screws, things along those lines, and I just, you know, grabbed the 3 8 long neck rack ratchet, and we threw a little impact in there. I went ahead and picked up some El Cheapo Pittsburghs, which are actually, you know, pretty decent by impact socket standards, and especially at the price point. Uh, again, if this is a deal where if I lose one, it rolls under a rack, yeah, you know, I can go pick up another set, not a huge deal. Uh, you can see which ones I'm using, we're obviously missing one. <laughs> and uh, the ones that are super dull, obviously, haven't been taken off and used. The ones that are shiny have. So there's been some, some usage on these things since you would have seen them last. Obviously, the one on the ratchet right now. But I don't really like this. It's not terrible. It's just getting a socket on and off this thing is sort of a pain. And when you look at it, I don't really think they intend for you to reuse these. It's almost like a cylindrical drum type of a thing. Uh, case in point, I don't think this one's ever been off, and I mean, it's kind of a, a sideshow attraction working them loose. Sometimes if you lose leverage, it'll work better. Uh, then it's kind of hard. I've had these pegs pop off in the bag. I've had them pop off when I pulled it out. So obviously it needs to go. It got me by, you know, without these just being loose in the bag, which is nice. I'll give it that. But uh, This will be a considerable upgrade. So what I'm going to do, go off camera so you don't have to watch me struggle to rip these things off. Populate the rail and we will showcase it. All right. So we populated the majority of the rail. Again, it's kind of strange. Like the ones you use just sort of a dust cover comes off, it's a little bit more visible. Can't explain it, but uh, again, these are actually made in Taiwan for those of you uh, concerned about country of origin. But the way this works, again, it's just sort of kind of like the Vera stuff. Not, not the same, but similar in concept. So basically, uh, we would come in, trying to orient this correctly, and we would place the socket, right? And then you kind of want to push down and snap and then it's technically on but not locked and then when we turn it it should be locked in place so uh, this guy constantly coming off at 5 8 but it's about as violent as I can get with them and feel good about it and they're not going anywhere so that's a win in my book what are we missing the 9 16 because those lag screws are 3 8 so where is it it's right here on the end of our Hercules ratchet again holding up fine so far uh, as you can see, stuff at work is red. <laughs> so, just for a socket inspection for you, I mean, you kind of get a feel for it, I think. Uh, this has seen a good bit of action for the limited time I've had it. Again, kind of the black coming off, like it does with impacts. And uh, then if it looks like it's really not showing up, but there's a lot of red in that. So, what we'll do with it is see if we left enough space. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have or not. Uh, looks like we didn't we'll egg them over just a bit and try to squeeze it in, twist it, and boom. That one is off a little bit. It's not lining up with my sizes, unfortunately, but it is locked in place. I think there, again, half a 9 16 there. Clearly, clearly the two we've been using. <laughs> and, uh, bottom line, it's locked in place. Again, this has several U.S. patents. Everything that we haven't used, I've just sort of slid off over here to the side. So again, as you get into a bigger socket, like let's say we had 7 8 and 15 16 here, we got all these pegs, but realistically, you know, 7 8 is here, 15 16 is here. Not sure you're fitting a whole lot more. My only complaint on this rail, uh, where that wrapper was around it, there was some adhesive. I used some crud cutter and then a plastic razor blade, got it off super easy. My fingernail preceded the plastic razor blade and uh, took care of that. So all in all, it's a win. And this is relatively inexpensive stuff here. So $5.99 for our three compartments, $8.99 for the tin compartment, $8.99 for the rail. I do like these rails. What I'm going to do is go grab a Viha and the Vera and we'll kind of compare and contrast real quick. All right, so we're back. And as you can see, this is the Viha. These are way back in early tool hauls, but I'm inclined to say Erst might very well be the manufacturer of these. If not, it's something extremely similar. It has similar U.S. patent numbers. I'm not going to read it, <laughs> but the big difference here, and I think this is kind of, I figured they looked so similar, I thought this must be the same thing. It didn't even pay attention to the twist lock. I'm not sure I don't like this style better in terms of what's more secure 
it's probably the Ernst version that we just showcased, but in terms of what I like for ease of use, it's that. Uh, but again, this has served me well all this time. Uh, these have had pretty good use, a couple of sizes again, just like the sockets, but uh, no complaints thus far with that guy. And again, to showcase the Ernst three compartment deal, fits just fine. Now, right here, our very little uh, very to go system, if you will. This has the Velcro, it has a carabiner, you can clip it to whatever you want to. These are their impact sockets, and again, this is kind of a unique system because it's twist lock like that. It's just much easier to articulate, right? So this is kind of a square peg versus the design that we've got there where it's almost like hex, if you will. Uh, this one has probably been used the most, the 14. What's going on back there? I said you've been used the most, thank you. Uh, so right there you kind of get a feel for it. Again, it's square just like you would expect on a rail. And then the twist locks those in place. There's some play, but they don't actually fall, and that's what we're concerned with. So that's that, man. This is, like I said, not too long of a video. Threw in the bonus comparisons for you. Um, there's some other things I might do with these little impact sockets. We shall see, but... Uh, I think you can now kind of pick up, obviously, usage and usage with red. <laughs> All right, so uh, in terms of this stuff, though, think about it. These rails should be, I would think, the same size across the spectrum. I'm not sure we may bring some more in. But in terms of the 3 8 stuff, like uh, let's say I wanted to add 7 8 and 15 16 so I could fit those. But I'm thinking these guys would just slide off. Yeah, that is the case. So again, uh, if for some reason you're doing tiny, tiny, tiny stuff, you know, and you're building a custom rail for yourself and you can fit 20 sockets on here, you get some more of these. Or if you have extras from a set that, say, had bigger sizes on it, you just slide them on in place, all interchangeable. And uh, yeah, that is the Ernst socket rail. So I felt some more adhesive. Must have wrapped around. I'll have to find that off camera. But yeah that is what we got uh, maybe i'll clean these up and throw them in the drawer it's getting late um, and again i've got to go work out shower and get to work again so i'll see what i can do if we throw it on at the end we throw it on at the end if we don't we don't and this is the end so uh thank you for watching hope you enjoyed maybe learned a little something again summit racing is where i picked these up uh, if you got like a local store that carries ernst uh, even if they just have like red and black or high viz Blue is an option. This is nothing custom. This is something they offer, uh, albeit not as frequently stocked by people. But $5.99, $8.99, and $8.99, I don't think you can really complain too terribly much. So uh, you could probably find it Amazon, multiple places online, just whatever floats your boat. You, if you want it, you can find it. You can check out their other colors and go to town. So if you've used any of these items let us know leave a comment uh let people know how they're treating you if you hate them if you love them whatever the case may be uh, anyone coming here to check these videos out probably looking for information and first hand is preferred so uh with that said i'm gonna move on to something uh bigger and better here real quick so i can hopefully get some more done and still still have sleep to function and man with that socket off i just looked at this <laughs> look at all that paint man that gets through there what was i on <laughs> it's interesting but yeah that's not blood on the uh anvil there that's that's paint and debris looks like palette material so fantastic stuff but uh yeah lonestarmopars.com is the website you can find us facebook twitter instagram all three at lone star mopars if you missed my the ratchet viha should make it fits in here too <laughs> fantastic our little style villa picks they fit extensions they'd fit too um like i said first hand feedback feel free to throw it down if you knew these existed if you didn't know uh whatever you use if there's something else if you go to walmart and buy silverware containers from this brand that are perfect tell people uh, that's that's the end goal here is to help people out you know make an informed decision before purchasing something and that way you don't buy it blindly like i do so with that said, thanks so much for watching. Every Wednesday, we typically try to have automotive content. Saturday, tool content. Uh, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time is our target release. Sometimes life and work get in the way, but uh, otherwise, that's what we shoot for. If you subscribe, ring the bell, and jump your charger across the creek, they just might notify you. Otherwise, check back manually, or if you're following along, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. I'm typically able to uh, you know, make a post about the videos. So. 
with that said, thanks for watching. I'll quit rambling and I will catch you back here for more action from the shop. All right, so this is one of those things. If I had more free time, I would play with this crud all the time for pictures, for your entertainment, whatever. Uh, this isn't a bad setup, really, uh, just for throwing together in like two minutes. But uh, what I did, I had to pull a lot of stuff out of the drawer to make this happen. So uh, it's probably just a placeholder. But yeah, I mean, this gives you an idea. Again, if you if you blink, you miss it. But I threw that socket rail in there. Realistically, that would never happen. But uh, for the sake of trying to get a thumbnail, that's what we're gonna do. And as I promised. For those of you that came to the end, this is your bonus content. It shows how you could potentially populate these. Uh, again, I'm thinking here it's either going to be quarter, three-eighths, half extensions and adapters, heat shrink. Who knows if I wind up loving these, uh, we'll bring some more in. Uh, same thing over here. It's far more likely to be something else, although I do like that VHA scraper being in there. I'd always just kind of kept it over here in the box because I have so many different of the blade styles. But uh, yeah, this was just kind of thrown together and uh, gives you an idea of what you can do. So I'm going to try to get a stool to get a thumbnail so this is actually functional. But uh, like I said, if you, if you want to see more of this type of stuff, uh, whether it's just like posts of pictures I throw up on YouTube and Instagram and stuff, or if you want to see similar videos to this, let me know. Um, as soon as I've got some other stuff done in life, you know, stuff like this is super fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you've got like an overpopulation of screwdrivers or tools like I do and you're cycling through and you want like that bin to be what you come to or grab or carry out, you can just cycle through to what you want to work with that day or week or whatever uh, to be super convenient. But uh, yeah, a lot of you probably don't even know about uh, the, the Mac and Vessel stuff. That goes way back. I don't even know if I made videos on it actually. So anyway, I'll quit rambling, but this gives you an idea of what these can do for your drawer. Again, picture all this stuff without the confines of the borders without the rail socket rolling around all kinds of craziness and you can start to appreciate them especially at the price point especially if they've got a color you like so with that said thanks for watching i'll catch you back here for more from the shop